Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eight language learning routine. I do have a different routine for each of the languages because I have a different level in each of the languages that I speak. So in some I am a beginner, in some I'm intermediate, and in some I'm more advanced. So obviously I need to do different activities for each language depending on my level. So what I hope that you guys get out from this video is that you see kind of like the process of learning eight languages, how long it takes, and also the different activities that I try so that you can try them as well. At the end of each routine, I'm also going to be including a little bit of a bonus talking about updates in terms of my fluency in each language. So I hope that that serves you in terms of gauging how much you can expect to improve in a certain amount of time. So if you're interested in hearing more, let's dive into the video. But before we do that, I do want to thank Toucan for sponsoring this video. Toucan is a Chrome extension that allows you to learn languages while you're comfortably browsing the web. Toucan supports about a dozen languages, including Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, French, Korean, and Japanese, and many more. And it also gives you daily and weekly reports so you can track how far along you are in becoming fluent in the language that you want to learn. With Toucan, you don't have to set aside a few hours of your daily routine to learn languages. You can just incorporate language learning into your normal routine. And I'm going to show you how Toucan allows you to do that. So I'm going to pretend that I'm going through my daily routine and I'm looking for something completely unrelated to languages. So I'm looking for a Beluga article. And what the free version allows you to do is that it automatically translates a few words on any website. So you can use the context clues of the text to learn new words in your chosen language. Tukan automatically converted some words in this article from English to German. Now what you can do is click on the highlighted words and click for pronunciation and you will hear the pronunciation. Christen. And you of course can also see the definition so that you understand what it means. The premium version gives you control over how many words get translated as well as access to interactive quizzes, mini games and other tools that help you learn more quickly. Also, they have the own the word feature, which allows you to own a word on the internet. So if you own a word and another person comes across the word and they're using Toucan, they can click on the word. And if you've claimed the word, then your name is going to appear under the word. So basically it is as though it is your own. Toucan Premium is also pretty cheap. It's under $60 a year. And that is about the same as getting one grand a coffee from Starbucks every month. But if you're watching this, you get six months of Toucan Premium for free. And if you don't want to pay anything, you can still get the free version of Toucan. In any case, I'm going to put the link to Toucan in the description down below if you guys want to download it for free and check it out. Now let's continue with the video. So I usually start my language learning routine with the language that is giving me the hardest time. Most often not, that language is German. I have found German extremely challenging. But I think it's one of the languages that I'm still trying to really understand, like I'm still trying to understand conversations. For example, two weeks ago was the first time that I actually understood like a full 30 minute video in German. But um, finally, after three years, I am able to understand. And it just goes to show that um, progress is pretty slow. So let's start with the routine. So guys, for German, I am focusing mostly on vocabulary acquisition, listening, and grammar. So I'm going to show you what I do for each of those skills. So I've shown you my vocabulary list before, and right now I have about 20 pages of vocab. I started this particular vocabulary list in January. So since January, I've learned about 450 words in German. So most of these words I glean from YouTube videos, songs, or um, Netflix. Sometimes for the other languages, I do glean some of my vocabulary from books, but reading in German is a little bit above my level. Like I could do it, but I would take so much time and concentration and I would have to be looking up a word every, you know, every single sentence probably. So right now I am not really doing that. And I feel like I need to learn a little bit more vocabulary in order to really pick up a book in German and start reading. Although I do believe that when I do that, that's going to 
um, improve my German dramatically. So a lot of people in the comments have said that they don't learn particular words, they learn phrases, and I kind of do a balance of that. Sometimes if I don't understand how to use the word in context, I write a little bit of a sample sentence and I don't necessarily memorize the sample sentence, but I read it along with the word uh, when I'm practicing it so that I understand how to use the word in context. And by that, I mean, I learn the connotation. I learn how the word is placed in the sentence if it's kind of like a weird word and I don't know where it goes. So I definitely do use sample sentences, but not for every word because some of the words I do feel like they're interchangeable. So for example, bacon. Bacon is pretty self-explanatory, doesn't have like a different connotation in German, doesn't have a different connotation in English, so I can just use it interchangeably and I don't really need a sample sentence to understand that, so I don't put a sample sentence next to it. I know that every single time that I show my vocabulary list, a lot of people also tell me, why don't you use Anki? Why don't you use space repetition? I use my own way of like manual space repetition. And the reason why I prefer this, although I've used Anki and space repetition before, is because I can write um, the words that I'm learning. When I write things down, I actually remember them so much better. There has been studies that say this, but at the end of the day, it's a thing of personal choice if you prefer SRS and you can remember words just as well as writing, then by all means do SRS. But personally, I prefer written vocabulary lists because I find them more fun to make and I also find that they work better for me. So that is what I do for vocabulary. For grammar, I'm not really following a textbook. I am just kind of like sensing what I am most doubtful about, what I'm super hesitant to use. And to, just to give you an example, I was kind of super confused about the articles. I've always been confused about them because my teachers told me that der, die, das were completely random in German. And that is not true. I actually found a teacher on YouTube. You know, she has a whole like grammar course for free on YouTube and she explains how uh, the articles in German are not random they follow a pattern and in the video she explains to you what pattern they follow and how without knowing the article you can guess you can like make an educated guess of what article a certain word has so I've been watching her videos I'm gonna put her channel over here so that you guys can um, go watch her if you want Aside from that, in order to practice my grammar, I have kind of like a sheet of expressions or the most common mistakes that I make. So sometimes I talk to people on Tandem. And if you don't know what Tandem is, Tandem is basically just a website where you can do a language exchange so you can talk to people in your native language and help them learn for example for me it would be English and they can help you learn your target language. When I talk to people on Tandem, the idea is that they correct you. So sometimes they correct my expressions, sometimes they correct my phrases, my grammar, my vocabulary. And what I do is that I have kind of like a sheet of most common mistakes that I make or things that people on Tandem have corrected me. And I just write it and sometimes I look over it and, you know, kind of just read it to make sure that I understand my mistakes. So, for example, one mistake that I made was that I was saying, uh, would you like to have a conversation over Zoom? And instead of saying uh, uba, which is like the actual preposition that I should be using in that phrase, I used uh, through, so durch, and um, that was wrong. So the person corrected me and I wrote it down. So that is something that I recommend you do, kind of like have a sheet sheet of most common mistakes that you make so that you can really learn from what people tell you to correct. Finally, I have kind of like my diary in German. I just try to write sometimes uh, things that have happened to me, like little anecdotes. And after that, I would take that paragraph, like, I don't know, eight line paragraph, very, very short. And I asked the person in tandem to correct me. So um, I've gotten corrected and I write like what I am doing wrong. And in terms of that, this is very, very important um, because I can see what my mistakes are and what I need to drill. So for example, I was uh, confused about the use of als and wenn and someone corrected me and I was able to drill that grammar point as you can see. And now I am no longer confused as to when use als and when use wenn. So that is something that I've done. And aside from that, it also allows me to see 
what I'm able to write because sometimes I don't have enough vocabulary to, for example, explain a certain situation. And that also allows me to see my vocabulary blind spots. So that is my routine for German. Because this video got so long, I decided that I'm going to do an entire series explaining each of my routines for each language. And this, I guess, is going to be episode one, and it's obviously going to be dedicated to German. So if you're interested in my language learning routines for the other languages that I speak, definitely keep me updated. And of course, as per usual, if you have anything to add or any other tips and tricks that I can try to improve my German, which I'm desperately trying to do, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, thank you so much to Tucon for sponsoring this video. And next time, I will see you with episode number two in terms of um, my other language learning routines. So I'll see you then. Bye bye, guys.